Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about plotting of points on Cartesian plane. So last time, we had a video where in we discuss the different parts of the Cartesian plane here, and we also have the part of that video where in we identify the quadrant of each given points on the Cartesian plane. And right now, our topic today is all about plotting of points. Kung gusto niyo pa narin yung video nyan, I will link. I will put the link sa ating description box para mas patutunan nyo yung more on about Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We are asked here to plot the following points. We have here five different given points or ordered pairs na kailangan natin ilagay dito sa ating Cartesian plane. Now, bakit ko sinabi sa inyo na meron tayong video okay, about identifying the quadrant because it will help you to easily identify kung saan part ba ng Cartesian plane located yung inyong points. So let's say for example, ito ang ating 5,3. Since 5,3 are both positive and positive, meaning the location of that is here sa ating quadrant number 1. Sige. So sir, paano po ba magplot ng points? Kung mapansin nyo guys, yung ating Cartesian plane, ay yung ating ordered pair, ang kanyang Um, format talaga is x, y. Lagi nyo unahin tignan si x value o si ating absisa. Here, sa ating 5,3, this is your x and this is your y. If 5 is equal to x, meaning you will go through the x-axis. And hanapin mo dito, where is 5? or positive 5 sa ating x-axis, and definitely, it is located here sa right side. Ito siya. Okay? Next natin, ito siya, ito. Itong, line, itong number na ito. Is yung ating y, which is equal to 3. If your y is equal to 3, or positive 3, you will go through the y-axis, and hinapit mo yung positive 3. Ito siya. Now, kung iyan mo yan, kung ipaplot natin yung points na 5,3, You will simply draw a line here. I will show you step by step process until magmit yung ating perpendicular lines between five from x-axis and three from y-axis. And definitely, eto yung ating plotted point. Okay, eto yung ating plotted point. And to help you understand it well. I will suggest na lagyan nyo ng, ano, ng label. So we have here 5,3 for that point. Okay? Next, let's move on with item number 2. For number number 2, we have negative 5,2. Pero hindi na tayo gagamit ng, vertical, ng broken lines. Okay? I just showed you uh, the basic way on how to do it. Pero let's try without the broken lines. Negative 5,2. This is your x. And this is your y. Since your x is negative 5, nandito siya. Your y is negative 2. Uh, your y is positive 2, nandito siya. Ibig sabihin, quadrant number 2. So, start with negative 5. Ito tayo. Negative 5, tataas tayo ng 2 yun, so 1 and 2, hanggang matapatan natin to. So, this is your negative 5, comma 2. Lagyan natin ng label. Negative 5, comma 2. Okay, next, let's move on with number 3. Number 3 are both negative. We have negative 1 and negative 3. So dito, since the two ordered pairs or the two coordinates are both negative, nandito lang siya sa quadrant number 3. Start with this. This is your x. Ito yan, negative 1. Ito. Here, y is negative 3. From here, from here, bababa ako ng tatlo. 1, 2, and 3. Hanggang matapatan ko si negative 3. And here's the location of negative 1, comma 3. Comma negative 3. Ayan. Next, number 4. For number 4, we have this. 4 and negative 2. So dito, positive yung x. Your y is negative. This is definitely sa quadrant number 4. Okay? So dito, ang gagawin natin, locate muna natin si 4 sa x-axis. Nandito siya sa right side. 
kasi positive. You have here 4. And then since your y is negative 2, from here, we will go down 2 units. 1 and 2. So this is the location of 4 and negative 2. Okay guys, I hope sa four, first 4 examples natin nakukuha niyo yung concept ha. Now let's move on with item number 5. For number 5, you have 0, negative 3. Tama? Ngayon, ito na nga yung kanina sa mismong video natin na nakaraan. Kapag meron kong 0, either x or y, yan na siya, it belongs to the axis. Located just sa axis natin. Start with 0, sa x muna tayo. Ang x-axis natin, 0 ay nandito. Okay, nandito yung 0 natin. Now, in negative 3 yung y natin. We will go down 3 units. 1 and 2. 1, 2, and 3. Hanggang sa mapunta natin yung negative 3. This is the point. So, sir, paano nga uli yan? Your x is 0. X-axis. Start here. Sa gitna, kasi 0 yun, ha? Sa x-axis. Then, since your y is negative 3, you will go down 3 units. 1, 2, and 3. And, here is the location of 0, negative 3. So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to plot points on a Cartesian plane. So, again, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami, marami salamat. Bye-bye!